when the bang Kiss me once and I'll float away But that ain't me anymore But I don't mind if I sell my soul To get a song on the radio Credit cards on the student loan That's a millennial Do you remember How it feels to be young Do you remember We could be anyone We could be anyone I miss the new From the door of your room September can't wait too soon Do you remember How it feels to be young It feels great, motherfucker Yeah Good morning, Venice High, and a happy Friday to you. I'm Josh, and here are your morning announcements. You can now sign up for next week's VHS Connects activity. Go to www.vhsconnects.com and pick up something that interests you. Tonight in the VPAC, the ICC is sponsoring its inaugural winter formal event, the Gatsby Gala. A 20s-themed concession area with entertainment will open at 6.15 p.m., and the film The Great Gatsby, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, will begin at 7 p.m. General admission tickets are $5 and are available online at VenicePerformingArtsCenter.com or at VPAC. The event is open to the public and all VHS students and staff are encouraged to attend. Roaring 20s attire is suggested. Today is the final day to audition for the VHS Theater Department's Spring Musical, Songs for a New World. Auditions will be from 2.30 to 4.30 in Mrs. Smith's room. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Menagas' in room 4. 5106. The Divine Hearts Club will be collecting old glasses for the Lions Club. Please bring in your old glasses and drop them off at admi administrative offices in Building 4. And now for an update on the parking situation, here's our investigative reporter, Dylan. Hi there. It's a pretty sight, isn't it? Not a single car. No one breaking any rules over here anymore. Probably because of me, okay? It's been a problem all year, but then I come on the news here, and it's officially taken care of. So obviously that gives me superpowers to solve any world problem, because if, this, if I can solve this problem, I can solve anything. So uh, yeah, no, no more students parking here. And to solve another problem for everyone real quick, don't eat Tide Pods, they're dangerous. Eat real food. Thanks, Dylan. This past Saturday, FBLA students traveled to Southeast High School in Bradenton for district competition. They competed against schools from Sarasota, Manatee, DeSoto, Highlands, and Hardy counties in business-related events. These students placed and will be traveling to state competition in Orlando in March. Congratulations to the following students. Hey, congratulations. Join Venice in celebrating our state champion football and volleyball team along with state swimmer champion Kristen Nutter in the Parade of Champions on Saturday, February 3rd at 2 p.m. A barbecue in Centennial Park will follow. Hope to see you there. Don't forget to place your t-shirt order for your club Sister Seeking Him t-shirt. The link was sent via GroupMe. If you did not get the info, please see Maddie Krause or Miss Wideline. A portion of the sales also go right towards our club. This will only be available to purchase until January 24th. If you cannot afford one and would like one, please see us for more info. On January 23rd, we are having a Culver's fundraiser from 5 to 8. Please come out and support Sister Seeking Him. A portion of the proceeds will be going directly to the club so that we can help a child through compassion and children. Thank you. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but don't go away. VTV News will be right back. Hi, I'm Ella. I'm with the Interact Club. And now through January 26th, we will be accepting book donations for Literary Council's Little Free Library. You will find boxes by the entrance on each floor of Building 4, or you can bring them to Miss Meyer's room, um, room 4206, to place your books. Thanks. Students, there's been a bit of a problem with throwing away the wrong trays for lunch. For a demonstration on which tray to throw out, here's Megan. Trays, set. 
it's gonna smash it, you trash it. Trays stay. If you can smash it, trash it. The plastic trays do not get thrown away. Please pay attention because those trays are quite expensive. We appreciate our cafeteria workers and custodians here at VHS and do not want to provide extra work for them. Next week is Literacy Week here at VHS. For more information on what's lit about lit, here's Ms. D'Onofrio. Hey kids, want to tell you all about our literacy celebration. Coming up this Thursday, we're going to be going at two periods, period two and period four. Hope to see you there. Our author, Roland Smith, author of Peak and 25 other award-winning books for kids, is going to be presenting to us and talking about his life as a writer. You can also go Thursday night at 7 p.m. in the VPAC. Tickets are $5 for kids, $15 for adults. The whole week long, we're going to be celebrating literacy, starting off with the Decorating the Door contest. You can see that we are in the beginning process of decorating our door here. We've got some Himalayan prayer flags going for Peak. Also, our protagonist, Climbing the Woolworth Building in New York City. It's a great book. Hopefully all your teachers will be decorating their doors. Winner on each floor of Building 4 gets a donut prize. That's a morning of donuts and drinks. Also, winner in buildings outside. And um, so that's four different prizes. Building 1, four. 4, all three floors. It's going to be great. Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, you're going to love it. Um, hope to see you at the Literacy Celebration. Keep reading. Looking forward to seeing Roland Smith. Attention GSA members. If you have not turned in your candy money, please bring it to Miss Allen in room 4140 as soon as possible. Good luck to the boys basketball team who are home tonight against Palmetto. JV is at 6 and Varsity is at 7.30. And to the girls soccer team who is at home tonight for senior night against Sarasota High. JV is at 5 and Varsity is at 7. Finally, we would like to congratulate you, Venice High, through the hard work of everyone on campus, students, teachers, staff, and administrators. Venice High has received recognition from General Rick Scott based on last year's statistics. Venice High is the 29th ranked school according to math scores in the state of Florida. To put it in perspective, there are 583 schools in the state, which means we are ranked in the top 6%. Additionally, when you take all other subjects into account, Venice High is ranked 90th in the state out of 583 high schools. Venice High, you are a talented beyond belief, persistent beyond measure, and will continue to progress and move closer to being one of the top high schools in not only the state of Florida, but the country. You should be proud of yourself, Venice High. Keep up the good work. For all of us here at VTV News, I'm Josh. Have a great weekend, Venice High.